Hey guys, Lee Constancy from the Body Consult here, and I am with Jenny today who has completed our program and she has had quite the journey and we're going to dive in and ask her about her experience. So Jenny, let's just start by speaking about um, the times that we, that you, before the program. So before you joined the program, what was life like for you? Um, pretty stressful, I have to say. Um, body image was a big thing for me and just spent most of my life yo-yo dieting and trying various pills and all sorts of things and not really kind of like getting anywhere and, and I re reached a point where I just needed some help with everything because diets weren't working. And so how did we connect? Because um, we were, we were, we've known each other longer than, you know, the program. So how did we connect initially? And, you know, what, yeah, what was like the, the jump to, to come and join this program? Um, probably, I probably fed up with you bombarding me with Facebook messages. <laughs> no, only joking. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it was, it was kind of like you, everything you said resonated with me. It was kind of like the whole approach. It wasn't just about like, here's a diet and here's an exercise plan. It was a lot more than that. And I, I um, just read me really resonated with you because that was what it was what you were offering was more than just the whole diet and exercise plan yeah and yeah. you did that before right you know you're you're a coach you're a trainer you're you know expert in the health and fitness industry so what made you reach out to get a coach because a lot of people will be like you know maybe have their ego or like not want to get help you know because they're a trainer or a coach what made you decide to you know maybe get some help and um you know get some support on it um basically because i needed somebody to be accountable to um i think it's i think you need somebody to kind of be your coach as well it's just easy enough to be a coach but you need somebody else to coach you it's it's like a, i see it like a hairdresser who does your who does a hairdresser's hair it's got to be somebody else right you can't do your own hair <laughs> exactly <laughs> so it's kind of like that I, you know, my ego is not big enough to think that, you know, I've got all the answers. It was just, I needed. I love that analogy. Uh, <laughs> cuts the head or I never thought about it like that. But yeah, see? I'm really stealing that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know that one. It. So, what was different about what we did, Jenny? Because, look, like you've competed in the past, you know, which is you know, quite a unique experience, which we won't dive into. Um, but what, what did we do to overcome this? You know, this, these insecurities that you had that was different to the competition prep that you did in the past. What was different? Um, what was different was it was a lot, it went a bit deeper than the whole kind of diet and exercise which I said. Like, you know, you made me realize that, you know, I've been very stressed <laughs> and um, lots of things going on in my life I wasn't really dealing with, and that had contributed to um, weight gain and, you know, and it was continuing. In um, to affect my weight so it was kind of like the whole mindset stuff that you've done with me was just exactly what I needed really I you actually taught me that actually what I thought I needed I didn't really need <laughs> I needed what you gave me which is which is brilliant <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people are in that place though right they, they're like I just needed the perfect diet I just need to know what to do and I'll be fine and, and that's what we think, you know, in life that we need. And as you know, as a coach and, and a trainer, you know, what people need is usually sometimes a little bit different to, to get to the root cause of the problems rather than just masking the symptoms, which is what yeah. we do so often in life. And so, you know, for you especially, there were so many, um, you know, uh, things that we needed to overcome so that this was a, a, a lifestyle change for you, right? And something that you could see long beyond the program, most importantly. Yeah, definitely. So, what are some of the results? So, there was a bit of a lag there, so we just spoke at the same time. <laughs> I'll leave that in too. It's all good. It's it's, it's natural. So, let's talk about some of the results that you have experienced um, in this journey. Like, what are some of the changes that you've seen from start to now? So, um, I think I was kind of like obsessed at the very beginning of the program, wanting to like 
drop so many pounds in the first kind of month or something like that and needed to be a certain size and all that those kind of things but actually the, the changes that I had were a lot better than that it was more to do with um, the way I looked at food the, the way I looked at exercise as well and I became you know yeah obviously doing a competition you have to be obsessive and and I think I was so in that point I need to obsess or you know I need to do the exercise I need to do the food plan and I realized that actually yes I do but actually if you if you fall off or you don't get it done one day then just get back on the next day it's about consistency and it is consistently get back on it rather than kind of obsessing and and um what's the word and just kind of beating myself up if I didn't do exercise or I didn't eat all my meals or things like that because and you just kind of showed it for me that actually the stress was what was causing the weight gain like to go on holiday which was a big thing for me going on holiday and coming back and losing a kilo when you're on holiday <laughs> what's that about <laughs> so that was just like wow what win is that yeah. you know and yes I was mindful on holiday but you know I didn't you know, when my daughter come back with a mojito, I didn't say, oh, no, sorry, I can't have a mojito. So you had the mojito as well? Yeah, on the holiday. Yeah, I was like, oh, well, all right, I'll have a mojito. And didn't kind of stress about it, and that's what it means. But when, you, when I came back, I found that actually, because I was less stressed, I wasn't stressed from holiday and lost a kilo, I thought, wow, that's just really Amazing. good. It just highlights it. It was stressed. Amazing. Yeah, it's so it's so evident in that experience, right, that you saw how much when you're less stressed, you um, your body starts to work with you rather than against you. And so the title of this is going to say drinks mojitos and loses weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, uh, <laughs> I was going to be like, what? <laughs> Maybe I won't put that. Maybe I won't. Yeah. Um, Start a new campaign. <laughs> Drink a mojito and lose weight. Yeah, it's the, the mojito diet. Yeah, I like it. I like the sound of it. Sign me up. <laughs> okay, so um, and that's an amazing uh, journey there, Jenny, and, and realization that wow, when I when I'm less stressed and I do things with with less anxiety, I'm able to lose weight. Outside of the weight loss, what would you say has changed a lot for you? Um, outside of the, the the way you feel and see yourself, what's been a big change in your life? Well, you, <laughs> you're going to make me say it now. Okay. I, you made me talk to um, people around me that were stressing me out. And, um, <laughs> and it, yes, it's right. It's good to talk. And at a time where I kind of like, I, not that it makes any difference, but I'm a Scorpio, so I tend to kind of like keep all of my emotions in, try and deal with it myself, and then just hope it kind of goes away or or fixes itself and you just kind of taught me that actually I just need to talk and you know the, the, the amounts of time the amounts of times that I've actually just talked and got things off my chest it's just been yeah it's just been great it's been life-changing actually like I you know I don't normally tell my husband what I really think of him but <laughs> it's, I have done I have done quite a lot and it's it's also been the way I've said it towards to my husband, my children, for instance, my friends. It's kind of really helped me to kind of like become less stressed and mm. and actually feel better about myself just by getting things off my chest because those things that you keep in, you just start to overanalyze and then you go, oh, must be me, I must be rubbish, all those kind of things that kind of go in and stay in. But actually you get them out and think, actually yeah I'm not like that and you know there is a reason for these things yeah really powerful yeah and there's a lag there though and, and what I think is very powerful about that is I think a lot of mums can relate to that where you need to be this strong woman and just keep everything in but that stress is what kind of manifests into these other things like weight gain and you know other problems right and so I think you know being a mum who's like doing a million and one things and working and being able to now talk about those things that are on your mind 
and like you said, take things and just pass them off for you has allowed you to be where you are now, which is a, a much happier place within yourself, right? And, and I think that's, um, that's amazing. And that for me is something that will certainly be with you forever now because you're always going to think of my voice in the back of your head saying what would Lee say just talk just just get it out you know whatever's on your mind Um, and I think a lot of people just stay in that state don't they they just keep things inside and then one day it's like boom you know it's like one little thing becomes this massive problem so I mean hopefully there's some lessons there for anybody who's watching it's like you know keeping all these things built up inside them um so for anyone who is watching journey who's maybe on the fence or see me annoying them with all these posts on facebook on social media just like you um can you share a few words to encourage them to say hey you know this lee guy is not too bad and, and reach out if it's something that they they need help with yeah definitely just go for it i mean Yes, the, the annoying texts <laughs> were a lot, but actually it just just highlighted that, that that you were definitely the right person for me. And you know, you just need to go for it because you are so much more than just a health and fitness coach. You are so much more than that. You have got lovely qualities. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're, you're amazing <laughs> and Thanks. for a young guy you've got a good a massive good head on your shoulders so yeah just do it just do it it's so much it's so worth it i'm really pleased i appreciate that and i said you know coming from someone who's you know who's a you know a health coach herself that that means a lot because you know we we like i said before we sometimes feel like oh yeah we know a lot of things but then we forget what we need to take care of so yeah for anyone who is watching this video there's a link somewhere click it or send me a message we can chat but journey once again i just want to say big well done for this journey that you've been on um it's not over yet you're going to continue smashing your goals and um be in a peace with yourself and the world um and yeah it's been a great time and thank you for taking time today to speak and share this journey with everyone my pleasure